This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? This is a Tesla Model 3. It's all over the place, all over the world, pretty much, even in Thailand. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how good of a, a family car it is. Because you know, many people, they keep saying, they keep telling me, hey Bjorn, once you get a baby, you have to get an SUV. Well, do we have to get an SUV? Because actually we've been using the Tesla Model 3 many, many times when they had a baby in there. And we also brought a baby seat. We brought some, uh, uh, this is uh, Cybex uh, stroller, medium size, and it works just fine. I don't even have to take off the wheels. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So uh, I guess as usual, we will start with the front. Okay, let me see. Uh, it's relatively large. Teslas, they are known to having large fronts compared to some uh, legacy automate. Huh? What? What the heck is this thing? Some kind of weapon? Okay, I guess I'll just put it there in case I need a weapon. But here again, we'll try the Anoris cloud set. And uh, we just use this like a, like a measuring uh, device, I guess, to see how, can we? Can we even put, no, we can't, right? We can't just put in the cloud set here and then close the front, can we? Well, we can, we can almost do it, you see. So it's, um, it's a big front and normally you wouldn't put baby stuff here anyway. But the point is that, wait, how do I flip it back now? The point is that in case you need to put stuff, all, uh, all the stuff in the back, then you have plenty of space here in the front for your other luggage, like the, the adult luggage. This is a Cybex e Priam. It's a medium-sized trolley with, for only one baby. And uh, it has the carry cord, which is relatively large. And we like this one because of the comfort. And we're gonna try to put it in the trunk now. You see, the Model 3 is not that big, uh, like external size. Uh, but the trunk is, in true Tesla style, quite large, fairly wide, Not maybe not the widest, but at least it's quite deep. And also we have stuff um, space here, you can put your stuff, cables or additional luggage. But here is where the magic happens. We have a lid under here and it's so big. That's what she said. Uh, many other cars, they normally don't have this kind of deep uh, well under here. So uh, they more have more like shallow well. Uh, but this one will actually be very important. But just showing you guys what it looks like here. So one downside with the Model 3 is that you have this small opening. You don't have that big hatch opening. So I don't know what this thing is called. Sedan uh, lid or something. So see, initially what I did was that I put the, the carry cot in here and then I took the e uh, frame and I would uh, uh, do it like this, kind of like this, but then it wouldn't fit here without taking off the wheel. I'm gonna show you what, does it close? I think it's not supposed to close. It just pokes up a little bit. Yeah, you see, boom. Yeah, wait, doesn't it go up for me? All right, thank you, So what I did was to take off these wheels, the rear wheels, I'm gonna show you. You can take them off, this is quite standard. Uh, but I found out, I found, I cracked the code. So what you have to do, is you take off this lid, you can leave it at home, or you can just slide it, what, what, what I use? Just slide it there, I'm gonna show you. Like this, it was almost as if it was made for it, right? <laughs> and then you put the carry cord on top there. And this time, when you take the Eprium frame, wait, how is this again? Then you poke it in. Why doesn't it fit now? It's like the demo effect. Every time I wanna show something, it doesn't work. No, 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 you see, you see. Now it kind of sags a little bit in there, so it will close. And see, I'm using only a little bit. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sean Elon Musk. Yes, the man, the myth. Yeah, Lord, the Lord himself. Yes, the almighty. So you see, now in this position, you even have space under here. You can, you can put some luggage here and then you just squeeze this in. You can put luggage on the side. But if you go on long trips, what you can also do is take off the wheels. But this is just for when you go in and out, like we would tend to do. We go to the city or shopping mall and then we don't want to take the wheels on and off all the time. So this is really brilliant because even the 
EQE I tried recently, which is a larger car, couldn't fit this one without taking the wheel. So Model 3 does not have Isofix in the front, you see. Uh, and also no button here to disable airbag. You have to go inside the screen to do it. And here, uh, the, it's kind of clumsy, you see. We have Isofix uh, points here, indications, but uh, there is no lid or anything like that, uh, unlike most cars out there. So you just have to kind of finger it or fist it in there. But at least it's not as bad as the Model S. And also the seats are fairly flat. So let's uh, start with uh, that side then, which is considered the safest place to put the child seat. So remember to always use protection. If you actually use protection, then you wouldn't have to have that baby, right? I'm just kidding. Well, okay, especially in the Tesla, which I feel like doesn't have that uh, sturdy leather, then you really want to use protection. So we have this one from Diono, and there's a lip, so you just want to poke the lip, just stick it in there like this. It doesn't go all the way, but that's good enough. Roughly like this. And then you kind of need to remember where the, the Isofix points are. And then you bring out the Isofix base. Um, roughly here, you bring it inside and then you um, mount, I mean, you arm the hooks like this. And then you find out where, there, you just look at the, oh well, yeah, this is the tricky part because you don't want to poke any holes in the leather. I heard some people manage to do that. So you kind of just have to stick it in there and then observe on this side, carefully penetrate the leather. There, okay, this one is green. This one is still red. There is green, okay. Both of them are green now. And then this one is beeping, of course. It's kind of annoying, but you can imagine if the car seat goes out of position while you're driving, then you want to have that beep. Oh. There, now it's green, okay. And then we bring on the car seat. So one thing I want to check is how large is this? Well, it's relatively tall enough. Okay, so I can just do it. Well, okay, I have it in the weird position now. Uh, so that's kind of, normally you wouldn't have it forward facing, but it can actually rotate also this, this Isofix base. Actually, let me just redo this. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, this is more natural. This is more the way you want to do it. Okay, just slides into place. Then we rotate. And you can see that we actually have relatively large space here. And I'm, yeah, this is the position I would be sitting anyway. So that's good. And this is more of a challenge because this is the Honoris T. It's a forward facing seat only. Forward only, I mean, with airbag. And you see how bulky it is because it doesn't have an Isofix base. So I managed to get it in, that's fine. We arm the hooks. Let's hope I don't rip any uh, leather here or fake leather <clears throat> because then Mushkus might be a sad panda when telling that, well, you just have to write this as expenses for your business. <clears throat> you wanna, wait. I think the trick was you, you align in this one first, kind of like this. And then you look here and you align in this one. You see the hooks, they're kind of hidden-ish in the leather, but they're not, you don't have to go that deep. Yeah, I think this one is green. Okay, now it beeps also. Different beep. Oh, but it's red. Oh, you see, it's kind of tricky. That one is green. Oh, that's good. This one is green. Okay. There. Now it's properly mounted. And then we just adjust this one. Now it's all green here. So that was uh, fairly straightforward. You see, way better than the Model S. But you see, because the seats are relatively flat, uh, don't have any massive uh, side bolsters, then it's easy to see the, the indicator here. Also easy to take it in and out. So I have to say this car is pretty uh, child friendly. Yeah, I have a good space here. I'm still 173 centimeters. And we even have a little bit of space behind, so I could even recline or go slightly more backwards if I want to. Uh, but when it comes to the space between here, <laughs> just like the, all the other cars we tested, you simply can't have anyone in the middle there. These seats are kind of big and bulky, but they are the best when it comes to safety. So, uh, yeah. So there you guys have it. Tesla Model 3 
this one is even the performance version, works as a family car just fine, no problemo. So people who claim that you need to have an FCV, well, maybe that's the case for other cars, but Teslas are in general very spacious and you can fit so much luggage in there. So no problem. So now we're gonna ask you guys, do we have anyone in here who owns a Model 3 and also has kids? Just please comment, I just wanna see, and I want also to show people out there that you can actually use a Model 3 as a family car with babies. So yes, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.